It's me, Jacques, Chiang Mai Thai video. Jacques reporting for you here from Chiang Mai, Thailand. Uh, two and a half weeks after the big floods, we're going to take a walk through the neighborhood. It's, it's still a little bit wet over here. It's, uh, it's rather difficult to dry. Everything is soaked with water. Flip the camera. Yeah, that's what you get when the water is gone. Flip the camera, we're gonna take a walk. We're gonna take a walk to the neighborhood. When I was walking here two and a half weeks ago, the water was chest high. Chest high. It was up to here. It was above this. That's high it was. Yes, that's the high. How high it was. Now flip the camera, we're gonna take a walk. We're gonna take a walk through the neighborhood two and a half weeks after the big floods here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. Yeah, the whole neighborhood uh, suffered with the flooding. It was uh, one and a half meter high in the street. I, could, I was walking here, we were sleeping over there. I could hardly keep my head above the water that high it was. Um, and every house uh, suffered. Now, some people, they have a two-story house that can move up to the second floor, but we, we don't. We have no second floor, so we had to go to the neighbors. Uh, we took some important stuff, some um, my passports, uh, some important papers, uh, my laptop, my books. And we went to the neighbors, uh, one floor, a, a room at uh, one floor, uh, upstairs. Uh, we stayed there for two days. We slept the night. Uh, now we're walking. Oh, there is a, ah, there is an, uh, a funeral. Funeral coming up. There are uh, some people passed away. Some people did pass away. That means there is some some break in the in the waste collection. They uh, they blocked the road. Not too much disturbance here. Look, that's all the trash. You can see it in previous video. See it in previous video when we uh, when we sh did already show the trash. There are two videos when you find your life trashed after the big flood. Now, so the water didn't come over the railroad track. Now it come behind the railroad. It came from here. It came from here. It came behind the railroad track. So there is a small Small canal, yeah, small canal started to overflow. The road started to overflow, everything started to overflow. And also these shops, they had, uh, hello, they had, yeah, some problems. All the neighborhoods. The whole neighborhood had uh, some problems. Now we're going to take the back road. That's how the water came in. It came from the back. And then you, you think the river is quite far. Yes, the river is quite far, but with canals. Small canals, big canals. Those canals, they will overflow, the road will overflow. Everything will overflow. And it was like a river over here. Then we're here, we're gonna take a turn. We're gonna take a, we're gonna go to the back of the neighborhood. It, 
to see it goes a little bit down. This was all completely with a meter water, maybe even more. And everything started to float. But yes, two and a half weeks later, people have cleaned up. And you see the waste, everything. What was wasted is uh, not everything is collected. You see there the rubbish over there. But you can also see how high it was here. I'm still not sure what kind of building this is. No clue. Shooting range. I, I don't know. I have no clue. But you see how high the water was. It was even <laughs> even higher than my. <laughs> it was at the top of my head. So these people too, they had water that high. Everything was flooded, everything was wasted, everything is dressed. That's what you see. Everything. Everything dressed over here. Reality of life. Reality of life. Now I'm wondering about the new, they were building two new houses. Two new houses were built. Did they, did they think about things flooding like this? Did they made a plan? I think they made a plan. It's, it's built on stilts. Now, when we were uh, evacuated, they come up with a small boat and we were, uh, we were in the boat in this street. We're going through these streets in a boat. And we are going through these streets in a boat to the end of the neighborhood, and around the corner. And so everything was flooded. And uh, some people, they put, they could go to the second floor, but many people, they couldn't. And so much damage, it's unbelievable. Now, so, those two houses, they are further than I thought. They would be. But yes, still, uh, what has happened? They are, they have a stairs. You see, they have the stairs, and you see the the, the water was at the top of the stairs. This is, was just high enough. I think we're gonna move over here. I think we're gonna sell the house and buy this. You see, there is some space below the house. It, they closed it. I wasn't sure they would close it or not. And the water was. Till the top of the stairs. Yeah, that's that's what we want. That's what we need. A house like this. Now, two and a half weeks later. Uh, yeah, we throw out the trash. Still, there are some. Uh, there is some debris. There is some uh, little things that were floating and they lying around. Still the same. It's not clean as it was. I wonder if it will ever be clean as it was. But life goes on. That's the thing. Eh? Life goes on. You cannot. <laughs> you cannot only cry. have to keep on living and that's what people do. Road closed. Yeah, to close the road. Wondering why. We will see when we are uh, returning. Probably we will see when we are returning. Here we are in the neighborhood. This was all flooded. We were going by boat over this uh, over this road. With, uh, with the water a meter high. 
now. Uh, you see, if you wouldn't know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't notice. You would not notice it was flooded like that. It doesn't look anything like that. But still it was. Now they say this was the first time in 100 years. Uh, that's probably because nobody can remember. It was like this. And also here, everything was full of water. Uh, but here, it was full of water too. And it was the first time in 100 years, they say. Now, that's just because nobody can remember. It was like this. It was bad like this. Uh, so it is the first time. Not the first time there was floods, because the river floods not every year, but every other year, regularly, and depending on the neighborhood. But in this neighborhood, yeah, it never came that high. So the area which was flooded never has been that big. And now, if you see the map, the flood map, it's drastically changed. And uh, the area that's, uh, that can be flooded is so much bigger than before. And then someone was pointing out the best place, the best place to live in Chiang Mai. Now that's not here, not more. It used to be, but not anymore. And uh, other places, they, uh, they are too expensive in the center of the city. It will be too expensive to live. Uh, that's more for, uh, for tourists and some other areas. We have the digital nomads. They have no clue about prices, so they pay too much for everything. You see, the water was halfway the window, huh? Halfway the window. Uh, yeah, they have no clue about prices, so they pay too much and the prices will be too high. So that's also too expensive. Then there is an area, they are uh, in the flight path of the, uh, of the airport. So that's too noisy. Uh, yeah, that's, that's uh, also not a great area to live. And then uh, a good area to live. It was, <laughs> it is now uh, rather limited, it's not that big anymore. Uh, and uh, the, the first reaction was, ah, uh, oh, the price is already rising in this area. Yes, <laughs> because if it's known that's the only good place to live, yeah, it will do something with the price. Now, imagine, yeah, this water, this canal, it, the water did rise. Hello! The water did rise uh, until, yeah, above, inside the houses, inside. Here it's, it is, it's getting uh, up a little bit. We're going, uh, going around the corner. Yeah, a canal like this. You were, I was wondering where does the water come from? Well, yeah, but the, the water from this canal was rising too because everything was rising. And uh, not only the river, but also canals from and to the river, they would be rising and overflowing. Yeah, <laughs> still I'm convinced it's a water management uh, problem. Huh? It's a water management thing. Now we're going to walk uh, till the corner and then we will return. Uh, just because we can. Yeah, we could go to the, uh, to the highway. But, yeah. um, that's the place where we were dropped when they, uh, when they brought us with the boat. They brought us to the highway, uh, only the highway was closed, so we were uh, standing there, 
with a bag of clothes, uh, my laptop, uh, and my passport. And then, yeah, uh, we were standing at a closed uh, highway because the traffic couldn't come in. Now, okay, we're gonna take, we're gonna take a turn. We're gonna go back. Uh, over there, there is uh, uh, there is the highway. There is a parking lot. It's not that interesting. And we uh, we will return. But yeah, we were standing there at a closed highway. There was no traffic, and our regular driver couldn't pick us up because the uh, road was closed. So we had to cross the road. We had to cross the highway. Yeah, there was no traffic, but still, it's it's not easy with the, with the side uh, protection and things on the highway we went uh, to the other side and there was a car standing there and people they uh, they were wondering what we were doing and they brought us uh, beyond the the where the the high, highway was uh, blocked and they brought us to a place where our driver could find us. And from there, we were brought to a resort, a small resort. But yeah, that was already three quarters, maybe an hour outside the city. So that wasn't the most convenient place, but okay, for the first two nights, it was nice to have a good night rest and get uh, in strains. And, uh, for the big cleaning and uh, yeah, the big cleaning uh, you have seen you could have seen you can see the big cleaning in previous videos uh, there are two videos when you find your life wasted when you find your life wasted and, uh, and then you can see the first week and the second week after the big floods now it's two and a half week after the big floods you can still you can see how high the water was and how devastating it is because every furniture is wasted uh, the furniture cannot handle water it falls apart and everything in it your clothing has to be cleaned so we're cleaning we're still cleaning our clothes we're still cleaning our glass and our plates and our cutlery because there's so much to clean still cleaning the house and so much work to do after those big floods now wondering i was talking it was the first time in 100 years but it will not be the last time in 100 years, probably. It will not be the last time in 100 years. And uh, when will be the next time? That's the question. That's the question. Will it be next year? When everything is new? When we have a new refrigerator? And we have new cabinets? Will it come back? And uh, if it comes back, will it come back as bad as it was? And when it comes back, what to do to prevent the damage like it was? How can we reduce the damage? Can we go top floor? Can we, what can we do? Yeah, that's still the question. Uh, blocking the garden the wall was already rather high but it was over the top of the wall then it comes into the garden to the front door and the back door can you block the front door and the back door can you block them a meter high one and a half a meter high should be possible with a steel door or something like that. Hello! Tamalai! 
There you go fishing. Yes. Uh, here we are back. Um, back at the crossroad to set. The road is closed. I'm wondering why the road is closed. Is it because of the because of the funeral? Could be because of the funeral. This week two people passed away. I wonder how they handle this over here. It looks rather clean. Uh, and the echo is uh, running. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, we were here with the boat, but <laughs> I didn't have a view about uh, this place. Yeah, they go up, up a meter high. This goes up a little bit. Interesting, interesting. But that's the thing, huh? Yeah, so here the road is closed. I'm still gonna walk. <laughs> Try to see uh, if it's closed for me too, or only for traffic. Uh, yeah, the water was here too. Look, over there you can see. But over there they cleaned it. Oh, they painted it. Uh, but still, if you are in a mansion, you're not free of flooding. That's a down thing. And I was thinking, oh, we're going to move to Huayin. Yeah, but that's not a solution too. Because uh, they have floodings in Huayin as well. Okay, the light is getting poor. Light is getting poor. Uh, this was our uh, report after the floodings. There will be more reports uh, to keep you updated. That's what you were asking for. You were asking, you were asked uh, to be updated on this uh, on this matter. That's what we do. In the meantime, we will uh, put out our regular videos. The excursion to Sorin is completed. You can see you can see a watch list with uh, with videos from Sorin. Uh, nowadays we like to go out to inbox because uh, I think Dao has a crush on the bear. She always wants to go to inbox. It's good in inbox, but it's different than Leuker Road. Maybe Friday when you see this video, we will return to Leuker Road. I hope so. I need to make some shorts. Some shorts with Ning, some shorts with A. What's happening to the light? Yeah, that's the thing. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Just like and subscribe and I see you later. I see you later. Good.